so I came across an email uh, sent to me on May 7th from a man from Geneva, Switzerland, who had stated that they have not only been having some very strange weather recently, but that on the particular day of the 6th, which was the day before he emailed me, he witnessed, while heading through town, a flock of birds. Uh, well, what he said looked like multiple, multiple huge uh, flocks, families of birds flying in what looked like a perfect spiral or circle, as if there was something in the sky and these birds were flying around it, almost like their compass was off. And we've spoken about this before, um, whether it be when we've had these very mysterious bird deaths uh, a few years ago, and it, which is still happening, when all of a sudden we'll have these mass bird deaths. These birds will basically just fall from the sky in the hundreds and even the thousands, and a lot of them will have blunt force trauma to their heads and bodies, as if they slammed into something while flying in midair. However, there has never been anything that, it, that has been able to have been related to what may have caused this blunt force trauma. Almost as if they're, they're running into an invisible wall, killing thousands of birds falling from the sky. Look it up on Google. It's happened. There's plenty of documentation on it. So this man emails me and he's telling me that he witnessed a very strange occurrence with these birds that seemed to be flying in, in a massive circle. It wasn't a small circle. He said this circle seemed to stretch miles, and the, these birds were extremely high up. It was impossible for him to gauge just how wide this circular pattern that these birds were flying in was, but nonetheless, it spooked him. Definitely, and it spooked me too. Chatter is growing about a strange cloud formation that happened over Geneva, Switzerland. A perfect ring of clouds swirled just above the city, where CERN's main operations and the Large Hadron Collider are located. The ring comes at a very suspicious time, as CERN is now ramping up to energy levels never before seen that could entail smashing protons together at 14 TeV. This would eclipse energy levels from last year that were set at record 13 TeV. According to scientists at CERN, they are absolutely dedicated to uncovering a phenomena called supersymmetry and exploring the dark universe. This is the reason why they have upped the power of the Large Hadron Collider to 14 TV. The cloud portal, formed just after CERN produced a press release, stating that a weasel had knocked out the power. Many people doubted this explanation, considering CERN is one of the most secured sites in the world. Anything that gets into its tunnels would be considered next to impossible to accomplish. Perhaps the weasel excuse was to cover up for something else that happened at the LHC, as it was running at record energy levels. Are they trying to open a portal? Scientists from CERN have indicated that 2016 may be a year of achievement. Perhaps in 2016, they'll finally birth the dark universe and open the portal. The Director General, Fabiola Giannotti, recently admitted that 2016 would be a very active year searching for dark matter. She said, quote, 2015 was a recommissioning year. 2016 will be a year of full data production. Perhaps they're on the search for something. Perhaps they're looking to find it in 2016. The cloud formation is suspicious because it forms a perfect circular portal in the sky. You can see here that an independent website produced pictures of the weather anomaly over Geneva. And a curious explanation for the event, local meteorologists confirmed that no rain came from the clouds and that the problem must have been with the radars. You can see here that the radars do not depict small storms, but large and quite severe storms. And yet there is no rainfall? This is a very odd explanation. This wouldn't be the first time, however, that Switzerland has experienced strange weather, cloud rings or cloud portal rings. Back in 2011, another ring anomaly was noted in Northern Switzerland. Is the one that formed on May 7th associated with CERN in some way? Is a portal about to open? And what is waiting on the other side of that portal?
So then I got another message sending me to some recent articles that came out on the 9th in Switzerland, uh, just north of Geneva. The screenshots of those articles you're seeing here, uh, basically speaking on the fact that there was a very strange radar anomaly that occurred over Geneva, um, well, directly over Valorb, which is actually, uh, excuse me, it's actually south, a few miles south of Geneva. And basically, these sites were reacting to uh, some tweets that were posted by a man on Twitter named DJ Pessa, uh, basically posting these tweets of these radar images showing a very mysterious circular pattern of rain directly over Geneva. A and this circle that you're seeing here from these official radar images is 80 kilometers wide. 80 kilometers. And look at this thing, it's a perfect circle. So people started tweeting this, you know, asking, you know, what's going on? Can you explain this? Because as you'll further hear, and as was stated in the articles, you know, this perfect circle appeared Sunday on the precipitation maps. However, there had been absolutely no rainfall in these places that this mysterious circle was located. No rainfall at all. And this was captured uh, right over the summit of Dole. Now... The Federal Meteorology and Climatology Office also confirmed the anomaly uh, without knowing or giving any technical explanation. They have no idea what created this. And, I mean, look at this thing, which ties in directly to the email we got just two days before from a personal eyewitness of these birds making a massive circle, flying around in circles over the same area that this anomaly occurred. It cannot be a coincidence. And this isn't the first time we've seen these anomalies. Some have theorized that these anomalies are caused by an invisible cloaked ship, which is why you get this sort of outline uh, of strange weather that is encircling it, you know, but the, whatever object is there is not showing up on radar, just the strange weather phenomenon that's happening around it. Another theory is that this is due to harp activity and like I said, this isn't the first time this has happened. If maybe you guys will remember, there was a very mysterious spiral vortex that you're seeing here on Mexican weather radar, which appeared on December 26th, where once again, you know, it was completely unexplained, and the only thing they could chalk it up to was a malfunction. Which, you know what, that's the same, that is the same excuse we're given by the space agencies whenever their feeds are cut. Or whenever we see something explained, it's, it's a malfunction, it's just a, an, an anomaly, it's, it's a natural occurrence, it's, it's not what you think it is, and that you shouldn't worry about it. Don't worry your pretty little heads, just go on about your days. But these things are happening. So we had this strange spiral over Mexico, and then if you'll recall back in 2011, there was a huge story about what was causing some very bizarre weather and these strange radar rings that had appeared over Australia, which had started in January 2010, where these nine giant rings appeared over Australia in January and February. And these rings were massive, as big as Germany or, or, or a US state. And they were detected by Australian government weather satellites and radars, as you're seeing in these images here. And at that time, weather in the Southwest Australia region was very strange and was stated by, by many people to, to have looked, quote, artificial or not natural. And another interesting thing about the radar images here that happened in Australia is that the website usually kept a saved loop that could be viewed later. But mysteriously, when people went back, to check after this had happened, the loop was gone, there was nothing on the satellite, and no radar imagery from when this happened. It was, just, it was as if it never had happened, and they had wiped away all trace of it and ignored inquiries into what had happened. So again, we talked about the theory that it could possibly be a cloaked ship of some sort causing these radar anomalies. Another theory, which may be a little bit more plausible, is that it could have to do with the weather modification system known as HARP, which was supposedly shut down a couple years ago. And if you don't know what HARP is, basically HARP, which stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, 
uh, was a, a, a little-known but very important U.S. military defense program that was basically utilized to control the weather. And Harp acknowledged that the experiments were conducted to use electromagnetic frequencies to fire pulsed, directed energy beams into the ionosphere in order to excite a limited area of said ionosphere. And this caused a lot of concern due to the fact that this system actually could be used to control the weather. We are talking about creating storms, creating tornadoes, creating earthquakes, causing tsunamis. And while HARP and weather control has been called out as a conspiracy theory uh, by the mainstream media and the government, of course, a uh, fun little fact was that during a Senate hearing back in 2014, David Walker, who was the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Science, Technology, and Engineering, dropped a bombshell in an answer to a question asked by Lisa Murkowski in relation to the dismantling of the $300 million program, because as I stated, it was supposedly shut down. And Walker said, and I quote, that it's not an area that we have any need for in the future, and that it would not be a good use of Air Force research funds to keep HARP going. He went on to say, quote, We're moving on to other ways of managing the ionosphere, which is what HARP was really designed to do, which is precisely to, and I quote, inject energy into the ionosphere to be able to actually control it. But that work has been completed. So, basically, the HARP program was successful. And there were a lot of strange weather and anomalies happening during this time. And a lot of people believe that HARP didn't really close down. Although in the public eye, of course, they said it did. But here we are having these same strange phenomena happening again. Strange radar anomalies. Birds dropping from the sky and acting erratically. And people seeing anomalous objects in the clouds. Along with weather that, that, that comes out of nowhere and seems artificial as all as if to be created. So again, very interesting story out of Switzerland. I'd like to know what's causing these rings here, and so far we haven't been able to get an answer. Uh, very strange times indeed we are living in, and uh, we will follow this story and update you guys uh, as soon as we hear something more. So let me know what you all think. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe on your way out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you back soon with much, much more. Stay safe, guys.